Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. 1998, we're going to look at, and North, uh, sorry, the Adelaide Crows went back to back and North. Did they choke? I oh, was at this game, Damo. Yeah, they did. Six yeah. goals, 15 <laughs> behinds to half time. They should have won this game. Yeah, and, and most of the, the, the behinds they kick were at that end of the ground that Jarman just uh, slotted that one through. It, was a, it wasn't a good day for uh, anyone attached to the North Footy Club order. Uh, Andrew McLeod, they won by 35 points in the end, blew the Roos away after half time when the Roos should have been up by six goals at half time. There's Blighty, the genius. There's the Crows, the celebration. Bix wins two in a row. Andrew McLeod wins a Norm Smith medal for the second year in a row with 30 disposals and eight clear. Uh, mark of the year, that was Winston Abraham of North Melbourne. So this carry goes long. Abraham, I remember this one. It was a beautiful mark. Yeah. Sensational from Winston Abraham. But I can't wait to get to the goal because oh, I'd forgotten about this one. One of the great goals the game has ever seen. So there's Wizard. He's got it on the half-back flank. So he chips up. McDonald gives it back to him. Then he gets it to Gary Lyon. So Gary Lyon goes, yep. Go again there, Wiz. And the Wiz, under pressure from the half-back flank... At Waverley. At Waverley, biggest ground, torp, has launched torp. a torp, and he picked it up <laughs> on that. the back That's 50. So we forget how good some of these goals were and how good Jeff Farmer was. Oh. And how good footy was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, now, I want to go to 1998, as we are, with Lordo's deep dive. Last week, we spoke about Robert Harvey winning his first Brownlow medal. So... Just to reinforce the fact that he was an out-and-out -out champion of the game, he won it again in 98 to make it back-to-back, -back, and he did it in an absolute canter. 32 votes. His nearest rival was Nathan Buckley with 24, and it really was an outstanding year from that man. Uh, an average of 30 touches throughout the season of 1998. And that was Keith Gregg, I think. Uh, yeah, it was, it was uh, Keith Gregg, yeah. He won back-to-back the... -back in 73 yeah. and 4. And it was yeah. good for him, Harvey, wasn't it? Because a lot of the focus the previous year was on Chris Grant, who had That's more right. votes but yeah. didn't get it for the suspension. But this time it was emphatic mm. and yep. it, it was all his own. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 1998 wasn't a good year for the uh, Brisbane Lions. They just recently come the Brisbane Lions after the merger with Fitzroy. Uh, they uh, lost their coach, John Norvey, and another coach in Roger Merritt. And they had this issue involving... Alastair Lynch, who uh, was suffering chronic fatigue and then uh, got caught up in that particular substance, DHEA, which was a banned substance. It was taken through the, the various tribunals. and It was just a very ugly period uh, in football for uh, the club and for Alastair Lynch uh, personally and, and, and the, the entire competition, how it all played out. Did you cover that story? Yeah, it was a massive story at the time. Massive, massive story at the time. A lot of friction between the club and Alastair and, and AFL officialdom. And, and you would have covered it too, TJ, obviously. Mm. It was, um, was there any friction between Alastair and you? Oh, yeah, there was with every person, I think, in the media at the time. But not related to that particular part of it. But um, he was going through a lot of issues with mm. the chronic fatigue. And then, yeah. as we discussed a few times, ended up having the 10-year contract that he mm. signed, added to by, by one year at the end of his career. Well, one of the greats retired, Jason Dunstall. 1,254 goals. He kicked, he kicked 54 in his last season, the Chief. What a player he was. Just about the best set shot you can imagine. And his knees were heavily bandaged <laughs> in this last game. But, I mean, 1,254 goals. And there was... So they played in a great team, but this guy just, he was so strong um, and he did not miss when he got it. Here he is being chaired off and thought about at the end of his career before he went into the media, thought about maybe going into politics as he has a look at the champagne there, but then chose the media after oh, did that. Did he really? So, yes, he did. did he? Yeah, absolute gun. Uh, a coach losing their job is always a massive story. That happened to Stan Alms in 1998. Also, after taking uh, the Saints to a pretty good record, 1997 grand final, of course, he got them to another final series in 98. And there he is. He was good for the game. My memories of that, but... Yeah, it's always a big one and it happens most years where mm. a coach loses well, their job and there's the media statement from the club. Yeah, and dedicated much of his time after that to going around to schools and speaking to uh, young men in particular just about, you know, their, their, the support mechanisms that they can actually have in place. And I think if anyone's actually seen any of those speeches that Stan Elves does to help young people, mm. uh, then they'd realise that it was probably a, a blessing in disguise, if you like, that he was able to free up his time to spend more time with school kids. TJ, at the end of the home and away rounds, we at Essendon finished eighth, North Melbourne finished first. I don't think deep down Sheeds thought we could beat them, so he thought he'd throw a few barbs towards North Melbourne's Greg Miller and Mark Dawson in the pregame. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't mind taking criticism from uh, good, strong North Melbourne people like Aylett or Cheatley or, you know, players like um, ex-players. But to, to listen to uh, Dawson, Dawson to me, he'd be, he'd be a pink marshmallow, Dawson. And uh, Miller would be a, a white marshmallow. I mean, that's about where I see those two uh, softies, you know, when it gets down to that sort of stuff. I mean, he's probably just uh, chairman selectors because he's got an investment in the club. 
<laughs> All right, so a bit of fire in the belly there from Sheets. And we got beaten by about four goals by North and Wayne Carey. And this is what went on after the game. North, full credit to all. And there was white marshmallows, big marshmallows <laughs> being thrown left, right and centre at Kevin Sheedy. So uh, that's the theatre of the game. That's why he's one of the greats at promoting our game.